from your weather authority. Here's Dr. Athena Masson, sponsored by Jim Bass Cars and Trucks. Here in the Concho Valley, we strive for birth greatness and for breaking records. San Angelo, we did do it for this week. So far, 94 consecutive days of 90 degree temperatures and above. Previous records set back in 2011, 88 consecutive days. Rising on up to those summer-like temperatures, once again, 96 degree for our high temperature today. Record set back 1965 at 103 degrees. Looking out to the west, not a bad night. Mostly clear skies. Great if you want to take a Look at the moon and the stars. Temperatures now lowering to 79 degrees. Humidity rising just a little bit, but still on the dry side in the atmosphere. Winds now approaching from the southeast at six miles per hour. Across the Concho Valley, most of us were finally getting down into the 70s. Little bit of a break from those extreme heat temperatures in the 90s. 79 in Coleman, not doing too bad. Out to the west, 79 as well in Ozona. 78 for Mertzen and Big Lake. Heat continues to linger for our southeastern counties, though. 80. 82 in Sonora, 81 in El Dorado, outwards towards Eden and Menard, holding steady at 80 degrees. Texas satellite and radar, we have this high pressure system that just continues to be right over Texas and Oklahoma and will continue for the next few days. Just off to our west, we do have that trough of low pressure bringing monsoon conditions to the four corners of the U.S. This is not going to be moving eastward anytime soon. If we are hoping for some rain, it will be with this little area of development just off the coast of Louisiana. It is pushing very slowly to the west and could impact the Texas coast, but right now only a 10% chance of development. We are not hoping for development. We're just hoping for these showers and thunderstorms to stick together because once it does reach the shorelines, our southeastern counties could benefit with some of those isolated showers. However, it's all about that ridge of high pressure and we continue to be trapped right into it. To start off the work week tomorrow, it's still right over us. It's going to be meandering just a little bit to the east throughout the week. But then notice how we have this trough of low pressure starting to dig into the Concho Valley right about Thursday. That will be our best chance to see some isolated showers, mostly for our northwest counties, but they could make it into our central counties as well. However, expect it to be a very hot and dry week once again. Put this into perspective, we should be at 88 degrees every single day so far. We are above average with our temperatures. Rising up to 95 again for tomorrow. Then our hottest day of the week, possibly on Wednesday at 97 degrees. Steady decrease, 95 for the end of the week. Now let's shift our gears off towards the east coast of Florida. We now have another hurricane to discuss. This is Category 1 Hurricane Umberto. Right now, winds at 75 miles per hour. Pressure even dropping a little bit further. 988 millibars is expected to strengthen slightly as it pushes away from from shore, and luckily we do not have to worry about the system for the United States. Could become a Category 2 hurricane by tomorrow, and then as it reaches up into those cooler waters, likely to go down to a Category 1 hurricane and weaken even further. Forecast for tonight, pretty crisp morning for tomorrow, 64 degrees, mostly clear skies, and then it is Monday. Kids are back in school. Most of us are back in the work. And if you do treat yourself and get yourself an ice cream cone, eat it fast because 95 degrees, 7 degrees above average. Probably make sure to eat it in the ice cream parlor where it is cool. Seven day forecast. Lots of sun, some clouds, and Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, all the way towards Sunday, there are those isolated rain chances. The majority of us will stay high and dry, unfortunately, though. Going back to that weather trivia question, at least we can look forward to winter. When does San Angelo typically see its first autumn freeze? What do you think, Victor? I really feel like it has to be December. I just, I don't foresee it doing anything remotely described as freezing earlier than that. I know. I would even choose December as well, considering all these high temperatures. It's B, November 12th, we generally see our first freeze. Here's some more information from the National Weather Service about Abilene and San Angelo. November 12th is when we typically see our first freeze. And for San Angelo, the earliest freeze on record occurred October 16th, but I don't think that's going to occur. We're not going to be breaking that type of record. It's just way too hot, even for mid-September. All right, then. Well, thank you very much, Athena. Still to come, we'll have Player of the Week. Ryan will have that in sports. You don't want to miss it.